Hey everybody, it's Lee here. So welcome to another mining video of mine. Um, in this one, we're gonna be looking at one of my uh, mining rigs that I currently use for mining mostly Monero, but um, I also use it from time to time to mine other things as well. Um, so I'm just gonna be showing this particular machine uh, with you and exactly what the hardware is, the software, and uh, what I'm doing with it. Um, so just before we get into it, I would like to say that I'm I actually logged into this particular machine uh, remotely using TeamViewer. Um, I'm actually on the Mac at the moment, but the actual machine that we're logged into is actually a Windows 7 machine in a different location. Um, so all that means is that there might be a little bit of lag on the screen and also the uh, colors might look a little bit funky as well. But that's like I say, because we are uh, remotely logged in. Um, okay, so a brief overview of this machine um, we the quick version is we have two uh, miners running uh, we have a CPU miner and a GPU miner and also we have a hard drive miner which is a uh, drive share so I'll just run through each one of these uh, components and explain to you the whole um, setup how it works and everything um, okay so the actual uh, CPU mining part I'll just start up the CPU Z. Uh, the machine itself has got a AMD A10 7700K, um, and that's actually overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. Um, the standard clocks, I believe, are 3.4 gigahertz, and I think that can go up to like a 3.8 gigahertz boost. Um, but I currently have it overclocked to uh, 4.2 gigahertz, which obviously just squeezes out. Um, a little bit of extra performance from the uh, CPU at no real extra cost, um, apart from obviously a little bit of uh, electricity. Um, so that's the actual processor that we're using there. Um, the, the actual uh, processor is overclocked just using a free piece of software, which is AMD Overdrive. Um, and the settings that we're using is just a, uh, a 42 times multiplier and a 100 megahertz bus speed so nothing too fantastic on this particular machine i only have the um stock uh heat sink and fan so that's about as good as we're going to get uh you know from a stable sort of uh, machine um i have tried it a little faster but then it runs a little bit hotter and it's a little bit more um unstable so the 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 4200 or or 4.2 gigahertz that seems to be a nice sort of stable setting um so that's the processor that's in this particular uh, machine. Okay, so getting to the actual uh, miners, um, we have this miner here, which is the one at the top. Um, I'll just get it running from a batch file here, but I'll show you the actual uh, configuration for it. It's actually uh, Claymore's CPU miner, and the version is 3.3. Uh, so I'll just show you the uh, the batch file that I have running. So we're just going to go into the folder. So this CPU start there, it just makes it quicker for me to restart the machine and, and get it back up and running. Um, and this is the actual batch file that I use. Uh, you may have also noticed that this is actually a Spanish version of Windows 7, um, just because it is basically. Um, I don't really have a good explanation for that, but it just is, and that's uh, what we're working with. Um, so this is the actual uh, batch file that we're using. So we're just using the uh, the CPU miner, the 64-bit one, because it's uh, Windows 7, which uh, is a 64-bit installation in this particular machine. Um, the pool that we're using is the crypto pool hyphen, sorry, crypto hyphen pool .fr, and we're using the port all the freeze. Uh, we're using that particular port for the CPU mining basically because you get lower share difficulty and it means that we get less uh, invalid sh shares and less stale shares, which is obviously what you want. Um, the threads that we're using is number three. Uh, the CPU can support four threads, but we're using three um, just because it makes the, the machine a bit more stable and it also means that we can do things like remote logging in and also have other applications as well running on the particular machine. So. Um, you might, you know, for your own machine, you might want to use four threads, but we're using um, three. Um, and sorry, I also forgot just to mention there as well. Um, so you got to the threads and then you just got the user details, which is just your Monero uh, full address. And then it'll be your password, which is just X. 
So this pool's pretty good basically because you mine directly to your Monero address and it pays out automatically. So you don't have to worry about um, registering with them or you know create an account or anything like that. You just basically just mine with your address. Works really simple. Um, so that's kind of that. Um, so this is the actual miner itself. Um, and this is basically the, the current sort of hash speed that we're getting is um, about 82 hashes per second. Now this particular miner, um, let me just restart it. It has a few different kind of uh, modes. And um, what will sometimes happen is sometimes it will go into like a slow mode or a fast mode. So you just basically, you can see it's sort of started there. And this supports uh, CPU supports AES, which is like an encryption method. Um, and if your CPU does support that, um, this AES NI, then basically you can get faster mining. Um, I've used the same application on other CPUs without that, and it just runs a bit slower. Um, so we've got fast mode enabled, that's what you want. That means, just means it's running as uh, efficiently as it possibly can. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, and then this miner will be running at about um, 80 hashes per second, um, and it's not using very much electricity. Um, the machine overall is probably using about 250 watts, but that's a, a, on a combined sort of a basis. Um, so I'm just going to let that continue running uh, as it was before. And then we'll go on to the actual um, CPU, uh, uh, sorry, the actual graphics mining. GPU mining, I'll get there in the end. Uh, so let's just, um, okay, so just continuing on with the uh, GPU mining aspect of it. Um, so this machine has one of my old graphics cards in it, what I used to use in my uh, personal uh, home computer slash gaming machine. Um, but I've now switched that graphics card into this particular one just to make some use of it. Um, so the actual graphics card is a Asus AMD HD 6870 and um, it's quite a few years old now but it's still uh, doing its a fair job and um, yeah it's, it's a really good card overall I've used it quite over the years you know like, uh, for for gaming and also mining um, for various different coins and it's always worked pretty well it runs hot but it's um, it's, it's a good card um, so you can see it's currently running uh, just go through the actual stats with you uh, it's running at about 85 uh, degrees centigrade. Um, just looking at the actual CPU usage there, it says zero. That's like some kind of a reporting issue. I'm not too sure why it's reporting wrong. There's a few other kind of weird things um, with this card and this particular uh, system as well. Um, so further down, you can see that the fan speed is at 36%. Um, and the core clock is at 915, which is standard, and the memory clock is at 1050, which is also standard. Um, on my previous machine, I used to overclock this card all the time and run it at um, the core clock at 1000 megahertz, and that used to give a, a real nice uh, performance increase. Um, it ran a little hotter, but it always worked well. It never really got um, too hot or anything like that, so it was always good in that respect. But on this particular machine, I'm not too sure whether it's the installation of Windows or if it's the drivers or, or the mining um, application. But when I um, overclock in this machine, I just don't see any uh, performance increase whatsoever. So I've just left the core clocks, um, yeah, the actual GPU clocks as they was, because um, there's no point in, you know, there's no point sort of uh, cranking the uh, core speed up if it doesn't provide any sort of performance increase. So I've just left that as it is. It's kind of a bug or a glitch, and I just haven't had the time to find out exactly what the cause of that issue is. I think it might be like a, um, a driver issue. I was using a different uh, set of drivers on, on the previous machine. Um, so that's the actual uh, hardware sort of side of it. Um, I will show you. So this is the actual GPU minor settings. Um, and I'll just go into the details of it. So the first thing that you see is this GP1 of two. So that obviously gives you a clue that there is actually two uh, GPU cards. Um, the reason for that is, is that one of the GPUs is actually um, part of the actual processor. The, the AMD uh, A10 uh, processors um, basically have two parts to them. They have their main CPU side, but they also have a built-in GPU. Um, so that built-in GPU can also be used at the same time um, for like OpenCL applications such as 
mining or like um, you can use it for like an integrated it almost works like an integrated uh, graphics card but it's all built onto this actual same uh, processor so that's why it says um, GPU one of two um, because yeah, one is the actual graphics card and the other part of it is the actual like I say it's kind of like an add-on or, or built into the original um, uh, processor itself uh, so if we go to I'll just share with you the actual software that we're using is the Claymore CryptoNote uh, GPU miner. I'm using the 9.3 version. Um, I've tried a few other versions as well, uh, but this one seems to be uh, working best for me. Um, quite a few log files here. Let's just uh, scroll down. And I'll just share with you the actual uh, miner settings that I'm using. Um, so we just use the uh, sort of a, like a property setting at the top there which is the set X and then you can see the rest of it and um, that just basically allows the system to use the full power of the actual GPU um, so you'll need that in your own details and then you've got the GPU miner there and then you've got this setting uh, which is basically just a setting for the actual uh, graphics card itself um, I can't remember the differences between them I think it just means um, auto and then it's like the actual mode uh, for the graphics card if you go through the actual readme's it will tell you which is the most appropriate one for your particular graphics card um, but I think in this particular case it just sets our graphics card to like a standard mode something like that um, and then it's um, yeah our username uh, which is our uh, Monero address and you know just like a default password so I'm just going to close that okay so yeah back to the actual mining application itself you can see it's here it's running um, in this instance it's been running for about an hour um, but normally it'll be running for um, you know multiple days without any issues at all um, on the other hand the CPU miner does seem to crash you know probably a couple of times a day but it will automatically restart whereas the actual GPU miner tends to run for days and days without any issue at all so it's much more um, stable overall um, you can see the actual speed that we're getting is uh, 322 hashes per second like I said these are both mining uh, Monero um, and on the bottom card probably about around about 75 hashes per second is also on uh, for the actual uh, CPU of this particular machine itself so yeah that the CPU that's in there kind of does um, um, a good amount of the work it doesn't do all of the work but it does almost about half of the actual work itself so that's quite good overall um, and as I think I said once already the machine is uh, pulling about 250 watts something like that so we're getting close to about 400 watts uh, sorry 400 hashes per second and actually using about 250 watts at the wall so it's not super efficient but it's it's fairly close to like um you know uh, more of a like a dedicated mining rig something like that so it's not too bad um, so that's the main uh, parts of the uh, Monero sort of mining aspect of it. Um, the other thing that we're also doing on this is we're doing um, hard drive mining or hard drive uh, farming, which is basically where we are sharing our hard drive space onto the storage network. Um, at the moment, the rewards are kind of um, intermittent and a little bit sketchy, but it's all going through beta testing at the moment and in the future. Um, hopefully I'll probably set this up as more of a dedicated um, hard drive uh, mining rig so this is just what this other program is running which is called drive share and you can see we've got one drive zero which is a four gig drive and then we've got two other smaller drives just wait for those to refresh I think the other two are just 250 drives so not too much to them um, but yeah they're all mining on the um, storage network so hopefully we'll get some rewards uh, from them over time but that's really running more as a um, background process um, so yeah I think that's it for this video that's basically um, the various kind of a overall that I wanted to give to you guys so if you have any questions or comments um, please leave them in the comments box and I'll be sure to get back to you uh, thanks for watching this video see you guys again soon